Hi everyone, welcome back. Long time, grade seven learners. We couldn't study with you. Today we are answering some multiple choice questions for final exam. If you like this video, please let me know. And then we are gonna carry on with other questions, long questions. But today we have five multiple choice questions with you. So final exam, exam revision questions and answers. Let's start. Please try questions first, and then you can carry on. You can check answer. You can just stop the video and then you can check, you can try first and then come back, please. But I'm gonna just answer and continue. So question one, a prime number between five and 16. Prime number between five and 16. Options 17, seven, 20, 21. So which one is correct answer? First of all, we have to remember what was the prime number. Prime number is, so you can divide by one and itself, so only one number, just you can divide by one. Or that's number, for example, 17, divide by one and 17, yes, it is prime number. And B, seven, is it prime number? Yes, you can divide by seven or one. And 20 is not a prime number, this one is gone. So 21 is not a prime number, also gone, because 21 over 3, 21 over 7, 21 over 1, 21 over 21. So you have different options, different numbers you can use to divide this number. But, and we are looking for prime number between 5 and 16. 17 also is gone because, yes, it is prime number, but not between 5 and 16. So our answer is, B, question one, done. So it is from final exam, past paper questions. I hope you are giving correct answer also. Let's continue with next one. First of all, just let's clear all. And then let's go to question two. Question two is coming now. Let's say now 87,392. This is our number. Round off to nearest 10 is 800,000, 87,394, 87,390 or 80,000. What is your answer? Nearest 10. So we must just look for our number 800,000. No, because we are looking for nearest 10. We must just busy with this too. So, our answer is, let's check this one. So it's supposed to be zero if you want to make near it zero. So it is four, this one is gone. 800 is gone because we have 80,000 already. And then please remember, stop video and check and subscribe first. Remember that? So we are looking for nearest. So if last number is smaller than five, so zero, one, two, three, four, you are just making 90, nearest one, 10 is 90. So you, this is our answer C, because to make it nearest 10, you must just use this way. If you have 91, answer is 90, but another number C is fine. And then you have 92, round off to 90. 93, 90, 94, going to 90. But when you come to 95, it's going to 100. So next one is, for example, this one, let's try 87,395. Let's say 95 is going to 100, so next 100, so 87,400. So just like that, you can run off to 10. Let's continue with next question. I hope everything is fine so far. Different question is coming, complete. 13 square minus five square, so square root. So what is your answer? So let's try. Please try first and then come back. So 13 minus this kind of question, we have different options. Let me answer with first option. 13 square is equal to 13 times 13, you know that. 13 times 13, you can write. 13 times 13 minus five times five. And then 169, sorry for aggravating. So, and then 25 and square root. 169 minus 25, you are getting 1, 
144 square root. So 144 means 12 times 12. We know that. And then you are getting, when it's going out, maybe you can write one more step. square, And then you are getting 12. Answer is 12. C is correct answer. Other option for this kind of questions, you can use this rule. If you have a square minus b square, you can write a minus b times a plus b. That's another option. This is our rule in maths. So you can use this one. So let's just use for this number. So you can write 13 minus 5 times 13 plus 5. And what we are getting, 13 minus 5, we are getting 8. 8 times 18. When you multiply this, you are getting square root 144. And then you are getting 12. I hope it is clear. So quick, we are trying to answer without wasting your time. So we are trying to finish our question three. I know it is so quick or I, I'm not sure about that. It's up to you, of course. I hope everything is fine so far. I hope you are learning. So let's continue. Today, multiple choice questions. Next lesson, other questions, long questions waiting for you. Today, another question, number four. Choose the correct mixed number for this simple, okay? improper fraction. So what we are going to do? 16 over 5. What we are getting? Six, how many 5 in 16? So we are writing 3. And then 3 times 5 is equal to 15 and 1 left. So you can write this one. How we are making it? 16 or you can write like this. 5, 15 over 5 plus 1 over 5. 16 over 5, you are writing like this first, step 1. And then 15 over 5 is equal to 3. And 1 over 5, you can write like this. So this is our answer. Answer is B. Next question is coming. So next time, I will try to carry on slowly with you. But today we are in right. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Number 4, last question for today. So we have two options. Five minutes, we have question, question five, yes. Question five, last question for today. So calculate the following decimal fraction. So it's another past paper question. For this kind of questions, what we are gonna do, please stop video, try first and then come back. All right, please do that. And then you can get answers. So for this kind of questions, easy way, just use nine comma, Zero, zero. Make them all same numbers after decimal. All right. So you have just like 900. And then 0, 3 and adding one more zero. I'm making like this one. Zero, zero. After decimal, I'm trying to make same numbers after that. And then it's easy to add them. Next one is because, as you see, we have two numbers after decimal. This one just one. We are making two. This one is zero, nothing, but we are writing zero, zero. And now we have zero comma zero, six. When you add them all, zero, 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 making six, zero, three, zero, making three, and then nine, zero, zero, making nine. Our answer is nine comma three, six. I hope it's clear. So to make it easy, you can use this way. Same process. Now multiplication you have for this one. So let's, Continue. Oh, we did mistake here. What's mistake? They said minus here. So it's something is wrong. Not all adding. So we must just cancel this solution. I hope you see that already. My daughter, she's showing me that something is wrong. So first of all, 9 comma 0, 0. We are adding 0 comma 3, 0. 9 comma 3, 0. And this plus and 9 comma 0 0 and 9 comma 3 0 and what we have 0 comma 0 6 so let's just calculate we have 9 comma 3 0 when you add this to and 0 comma 0 6 now minus so 30 minus 6 you are getting 25 and 9 comma 25 so we must just be careful. If you have plus, plus, yes, the first solution plus right. But now you have plus, minus. Just be careful about that. So 
this question. Next lesson, we are going to carry on with this one. See you next lesson. Have a nice day. So you are not forgetting something. Please remember, if you have another topic, please let me know. And then I'll try to answer for you from past paper questions. Which past paper do you want to answer? Please let me know on your comment. Thank you very much. See you next lesson.